Hello everyone, this is Larry Warden from Apple Products Made Easy. We're going to continue our tutorials on the settings on your iPad or iPhone and today we're going to look at the general section of the settings which is probably the most important part of your settings app. So let's go to the screen and start looking at general settings. To find your general settings you're going to tap on your settings icon and then scroll down to the various titles to general, which is uh, about a third of the way down. Click on the right arrow, and we'll go through some different sections of your general settings. First of all, about is about your device, your iPhone or iPad. Mine's called Larry's iPhone. If you want to change the name of it for any reason, someone else has it, or you give it to someone, you can change it right there. Just type in the name person's name. Our software version 14.3. It's the latest iOS software, so it's up to date. My phone model is the 11 Pro Max, and this model number and serial number are listed here. Now, the serial number is important if you ever call Apple Care, which I have the phone and the number on the screen if you need any kind of help from the Apple support people. They're excellent, and there's no charge for those calls. Coverage has expired. If you still have a care plan, it will be indicated there. And this is the content of my iPhone or iPad. You see the different information. One thing I'll point out is the capacity is 64 gigabytes, but I have about half my storage space left. Only other thing I want to point out on this page is the IMEI number right here. This stands for the International Mobile Equipment Identifier. And this number is used by carriers and manufacturers to track your phone in case it's compromised, damaged, or it is stolen or lost. So this is an important number to have. So we'll go back to our general settings. And the software update is indicated. And I have the latest software, which is 14.3. And I suggest you toggle on for automatic updates. Apple always encourages us to keep our phones and devices up to date. And I've done a separate video on that. AirDrop. If you have files or pictures you want to send someone, this is where you can select who you want to send them to or have it off. Okay? AirPlay and handoff. If you want to transfer media to a home pod or send some work to another device, this is where you can toggle these indicators on to share that information. Picture in picture, I have mine toggled on. It's common now, like in Netflix and YouTube, you can have a little video going on your device and still do other things, send emails, etc. CarPlay, most of the new cars have CarPlay in them where you can synchronize your phone to CarPlay and it will mirror your uh, navigation system, music, etc. It's a wonderful addition to cars. iPhone storage, I've already mentioned and I did a separate video on this and I have used up about half my storage and I uh, would recommend to get larger storage for a future phone. Background refresh. All the icons I've toggled on, and that means the Wi-Fi or cellular will keep my apps up to date. Like CNN, I got toggled on here. I'll get the latest news from CNN with that. So basically, that is some of the, the rest are basic information. But that's some of the important parts of your general settings. I hope you will find this tutorial useful, and please feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have. And there's the Apple Care number if you need to call for support. And they are very helpful, our Apple support workers. Thank you.